Hello and welcome back. I'm Thomas Boucher and this is part six of my shop build. So in this video we take a look at digging all the holes and pouring the concrete. It took us a total of three days. We got three holes dug per day and then the last day was pouring the concrete. It was all pretty tiring. Um, the first day we ended up having to move a hole. The second day, the last hole was nothing but rocks. It gave us a lot of trouble. So without further ado, let's take a look. Last week we got these three tubes installed uh, for the cement that the building will sit on. And we have to do three more on the other side. And this was a little bit of a learning process as we've never done this before. But we were able to figure it out and it took a little while. We actually ended up having to move this one tube because we weren't close enough with our measurements or careful enough with our measurements. But you can see we have this piece of string and this is to mark the outer wall and also the height of the tubes. So these three are level. And then after having these three in, I was able to measure off of them over to find the location of where the other ones had to be. I don't know how this is typically done, figuring out how to get all this stuff square. I don't really like using the strings. I find them a little annoying because the strings can stretch and they're really flexible and I wanted something that was a little more rigid to figure out. So I made these T's and I cut notches in them so they fit onto the tube where they intersect basically where this screw or my finger is. That's the corner of the building minus the corner boards and the baseboard or the um, the siding. So that's my reference point and I have another one on the other corner of this line of tubes we laid out. And then you can see here some MIG welding wire and I use this because it doesn't stretch. So I looped it around the screw. I have two lengths. I have one that's the length of the width of the shop and then the other one I use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the diagonal is. So I have one looped here and one looped on the other wall. And when you pull them both out where the corner or where the ends of the MIG wire meets, that is the corner. So being have it, having it looped over the screw allows me to get one tube, then I can take them both off, flip them, so this one would go on the other wall and vice versa, and then and that allows me to get the other corner. And so that's what we did to make sure that we have square corners. And this is marking one of the corner locations for another tube. And this marker is about the center of the tube. Now luckily for us, having to excavate for getting out the rocks and taking out that big stump, we're a good deal of the way down here. We're supposed to be sit, uh, sitting these down about four feet. So from the ground here down is about two feet that we have to dig for this one, and then the rest will get back filled in. Hopefully the rest go well, hopefully we don't hit too many rocks. Um, and if we can get all three of these dug and put in today, hopefully tomorrow we can start trying to pour the cement. Thank you. 
Nicole's being absolutely stubborn. Um, all the rocks you can see in frame here all came out. I don't know if you can see these big ones behind me. Those all came out of this hole. It's just nothing but rocks everywhere we dig, just rocks. We're maybe down two feet, and the hole is about two feet in diameter, so it's just absolutely enormous. We keep trying to um, dig out the rocks and try to get down. It is the middle hole, so I think we can adjust it a couple inches one way or the other instead of it being absolutely dead center to try to avoid some, but we just keep hitting them everywhere. So I think at this point we're just going to keep tackling it, trying to see as deep as we can get. We're getting kind of tired though. the concrete was a pretty tiring day as well. I believe we went through 21 80 pound bags of concrete um, and luckily I was smart enough to rent a cement mixer.
So things are really starting to move along now. I'm a little bit further ahead in this build than where we're at in the video series, but I'm really excited to share all this with you. I'm really excited to get in here and I, I can't wait to get in because once I get into this new shop, I'm going to be able to work a lot um, cleaner and have a better workflow as well as be able to video this stuff a lot better and share more of it with you. So please check out some more of this video series if you missed them. Please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with future parts of this build as well as to see what's coming next after that. Um, I've got some really cool stuff I'm working on and I can't wait to share all those things with you. They're not quite ready yet. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Bye.